Hello and welcome back to Andy Drinks Beer, the only show where Andy drinks beer. Minnesota episodes roll along. We're up in number four and we have the delicious Brow Brothers Brewing Company's, it's uh, a good looking question, the Ringneck Brown Ale. It's going to be good. Uh, this weekend I am uh, painting you know, the get, one of the guest bedrooms uh, and also maybe jerking off the Hulk. We don't really know. Yeah, but we don't go blue on this show. Let's crack this bad boy open with our uh, trusty little bottle opener from Soda Stick Co. Mmm. So right away, you definitely get the maltiness. And this is going to be a dark beer. And uh, I have a 12-ounce glass today. And since uh, episode 3 is pouring fiasco where I had to vamp for like two minutes, which I'm pretty good at. It's fine. Uh, but yeah, do you remember the short beer glasses? Like if you go to the VFW or like the Muni or the Lions Club, you know, as these glasses are, and you get the 12-ounce beer. Yeah, I kind of miss those, but uh, yeah. So we got a, our dark little brown beer. It, it's good, even though it's Memorial Day weekend, it's a little bit overcast, a little bit chilly, about 60 degrees. So uh, I, I know that summer's may, uh, really about lighter beer, maybe some Kolsch, maybe some uh, American piss water, even though I don't judge here. Also, I really like American Face Water, so it's whatever. But you know, today's a perfect day for a nice little brown ale. So let's do it. That is smooth. Right away, you notice the smoothness. And not all uh, brown ales are necessarily smooth. Sometimes they got a little tough notes uh, working through them. But you definitely get the maltiness and... Uh, Brow Brothers, the pride of Marshall, Minnesota. Even though it says uh, Lucan, Minnesota, uh, I'm sure that's just outside of Marshall. Superfan West, what's up? What's going on, baby? 6.6% um, .6 ABV, 25 on the IBU, whatever that means. And, of course, we go through our normal uh, talking points. Oh, also, I should eat more on the show. Uh, so our five talker, is this crushable or a sipper? Number two, what food would pair well with this? Number three, compare it to a movie or TV show. Number four, what does this remind me of? And the cats and the cradle and the silk. No, maybe not. And then, of course, our grading scale. One out of ten, Reuben Studdards. Ten being the best. One being Reuben Studdard. So let's have another sip. It just smells good. You know, you crack open a beer and... The, the smoothness uh, of the taste definitely stands out, but just the, the just the aroma of it. Yeah, it just smells great. And it, it's a dark beer. It, almost by default, dark beers go to the, the sippable category. You know, maybe you have one or two, but the smoothness of this really strikes me. And this could be a, a like a four or five beer sipper beer. Like, honestly, it, it really could. And... I don't know about you guys, but when I'm drinking beer, uh, especially when I'm going out and um, having a go at it, and uh, you know the keys are definitely with the DD, the, um, I usually get about four beers in before, got to change it up, you know, let's get something lighter, maybe something sweet, let's get a Captain Coke, remember get a Long Island ST, it's, oh, by the way, random thought, you've never made a Long Island ST at home, no, no one ever does that, uh, just something to break it, it up, uh, but with this... I feel like it could go a while uh, with this. The Ringneck Brown Ale. And Ringneck, of course, uh, I think is a pheasant reference. I don't know. I'm really not a hunter. Uh, what food to pair well with this? Oh, my gosh. Something that we're uh, about to have on, on the Saturday evening on a beautiful Memorial Day weekend. A brat. And it, it's um, you, you get the dark sesame seed buns. It, it's not quite a pumpernickel, uh, but it, it's got a little bit of pumpernickel attributes. You know what I mean? The name escapes me right now, but you know, maybe it's German style bun. It's not wheat. It's not a straight up like whole wheat bun, uh, but yeah, it's got some, yeah, it's got some notes to it. And sauerkraut with caraway seeds. Uh, I think they call it Polish style sauerkraut. And then of course, like mustard, like, like grainy uh, mustard. You know the ones where you can actually chew the seeds. This, baby. Oh my gosh, that would go well with this. We compare it to a movie uh, or a TV show. Hmm. So it, it's dark. Reminds me of a foreign beer. A uh, little bit nutty and still very... Oh, in Bruges. 
Uh, if you haven't seen In Bruges, it's got Colin Farrell, and it's got the uh, Gleason, Brendan Gleason, I think his name is. He's the redheaded guy in basically everything. He's in uh, Braveheart, 28 Days Later. Uh, yeah, he, he's in uh, this movie as well. And yeah, it's it's a dark comedy. It's um, oh Ray Fiennes in it too. And it, it's it's a really really good movie. I highly suggest it. Uh, a little bit nutty, a little bit dark. You know, that's just what. Uh, the ringneck brown ale is as well. Now, what does this remind me of? Yeah, this reminds me of like, when the World Cup was here. Then you know, we went down, we went down to Brits for a couple of the early matches, and um, yeah, and um, I remember uh, going in on a couple of bars around here where they do EPL games. Like they'll have a. Manchester bar, they'll have a Swansea bar, they'll have a Chelsea bar, etc. And yeah, one of these early in the morning, I, I like. I hope they're in all the soccer bars because even though they're not Newcastle, they're not uh, a very European beer. This would definitely uh, fit in as their, their Minnesota brethren. I'm gonna scale of one to ten, Ruben Studdards. I'm gonna go solid. I'm gonna go a solid nine and a half Ruben stutters because why not? I'm a fairly easy grader, uh, as you might have seen through the first three episodes. But this one, the the, the Brow Brothers Brewing Company's the Ringneck Brow Ale. This is fan I, I'm gonna pick up a case of this. It was really good. I appreciate you tuning in. Uh, subscribe uh, to the YouTube channel. A little button down here. And also, if you're on Facebook, like our page. Do both. We're, we're putting up content on both spots because YouTube is awesome. Uh, but Facebook, you uh, you start ranking better if you actually have uh, original content instead of just links on there. So that's what we're doing. Uh, also, Twitter, Instagram, Snapchat, all at Andy Carlson Show are the handles for some more fun stuff. And also, comment section, uh, whether Facebook, YouTube, whatever, uh, hit us up with more beers. I, I think we're going to stick with the Minnesota beers for as long as we can because there, there's so many great breweries in the land of 10,000 lakes and they all have multiple beers so uh, we're going to be a little bit busy a while yeah new episodes every Saturday morning and Tuesday evening I'm Andy keep on drinking prost